so uh, I just wanted to show you quickly what I do when I don't want to uh, cook or eat something really quick for breakfast. Um, I don't want an egg. Um, and this is what I do. So pretty much, you know, I've been using the Oikos Triple Zero. So uh, yogurt, 15 grams of protein, and it's no sugar added, no artificial sweeteners, and no fat. So I do enjoy that. My favorite um, is the banana, and then they have a salted caramel. Those are my two favorites. And then sometimes I'll do the Chobani, um, and my favorite Chobani is the coconut and the strawberry. This is uh, something that is new. It says Monterey strawberry. So that seems interesting. So I'm going to have that. Now this is less sugar. So it does have some sugar and some carbs, but it's all about balance. So and I realized that I didn't show you the nutrition facts. I neglected to show you that. This is on the, uh, the Chobani low sugar, um, less sugar Greek yogurt. So here it is guys. If you wanted to see it, you should be able to get a good view of that. 120 calories for the container. Um, the total fat is three grams. Total carbs is 10 grams. It's like one gram, less than one gram of fiber. Total sugar is nine. So, you know, like I said, it's all about balance. So just keep that in mind for whatever you're eating for the rest of the day. And, you know, it's a give and take. So there you, you have know, it. I'm seven months out now. I'll be doing a, a quick uh, video update on, on that pretty soon. So look out for that. But I'm gonna try this today. And also what I do, and you may have seen this on my uh, pre-op video when I was doing my smoothies with the uh, sea moss. I was trying to get that out and I just couldn't get that out. <laughs> and it's high in omega-3s and it's good in fiber. So those are really good. And as you see, it says mixing smoothie sauces, sweets, and more. And just to give you a little picture of the nutrition facts, there it is. So two tablespoons, which is what I'm gonna have, has 60 calories. And as you see, it has the dietary fiber four, and it's no sugars, uh, two grams of protein, um, and it has four carbs. So you take away the carbs from the, the fiber from the carbs and you have uh, zero uh, net carbs. And it's really good in the potassium. Uh, this is high in potassium, it's 24% of your daily value. So that's really good. All right, and so um, this is what I use and uh, I'll link this of course in the bio for those who are interested in maybe trying it or if you have flax seeds and then you have chia seeds well now you can get the blend if you didn't know about that and this is what it looks like as you can see it's finely uh, blended and so now I just want to give you a little close-up and so you can see how finely blended it is and so what I'm going to do is just just open up my yogurt here Just take, take my chia and flax blend. Try not to make a mess. And I don't have my measuring spoon today. Just the basic tablespoon. And measure out two tablespoons. And that's it. So this is quick and easy. Just mix it up. And, you know, sometimes I'll let it sit for a bit just to blend really good. And sometimes, you know, I'm so used to it, so I'll just go ahead and and just eat it just as is. Instead of, you know, letting it blend and swell up, so to speak, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I've been eating flax and chia seeds forever, so it's fine. And, you know, it just depends. And sometimes if I want to get fancy, I might sprinkle some coconut, some, you know, no sugar flaked coconut in it. And that's it. That's it, guys. So that is my breakfast. And now um, I can eat pretty much the entire thing. Not at one sitting per se. It just all depends because I get filled up really quickly. So um, I might eat about uh, more than half of it. And then maybe in another hour, I'll, you know, go ahead and finish it or sometimes maybe not. But that's my breakfast, quick and easy. So what you see here is my lunch. Actually, sometimes I want breakfast foods for lunch or sometimes breakfast food for dinner. So what I did was I opened up a two and a half ounce of pink salmon, a package, it's chicken of the sea to be exact. And then I 
cut up some purple onions and sweet red peppers and put it in a little olive oil sauteed it first in the pan and then i added the salmon then i added the egg then i added you know just regular seasonings whatever seasoning you choose to to have and in my case it was garlic and onion powder and pepper and then i even added some green onions to it and sprinkled it off with about half an ounce of cheese and this was my lunch it was actually delicious Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brooklyn Stace and as you see today I'm going to be cooking some dinner. Something quick, simple, and easy. So for all those of you who are, it's your first time watching me, once again welcome. And please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and give me a like. Give this video a like. And also if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. So um, let's get right into it and I'm going to tell you everything that I'm going to be making and all the ingredients. So um, I'm going to be using a piece of salmon here, a piece of pink salmon, and then I'm going to be making a cucumber salad. So as you see, I have the small cukes that I love and then I have some wild tomatoes. Um, this is like a medley, so you see some uh, yellow and you see some red uh, tomatoes. So I will be um, just using four because I'm making a small portion. Um, and those of you who do not know, first time watching me again, um, I have had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. So everything that you see me cook, if this is your first time watching me, will be in smaller portions uh, because it just lasts long. Um, so then I will be using uh, some red onion and as you see if you've watched any of my other videos I encourage you to watch my Timu haul. This was one of my uh, items in the haul and this is my red onion keeper. I love this thing. And then um, for as far as the seasonings go um, I will be using again half of the amounts. So the recipe calls for a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Um, so what I have is some fur, uh, some uh, cold. What I have, so what I have is some extra virgin olive oil. It's cold pressed and it's from Tunisia. And I have an eighth of a cup. This is a quarter cup, but I filled it in half, so I have an eighth of a cup. And then the recipe also calls for a uh, half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. So I do have the apple cider vinegar with the mother, but I have an eighth of a cup instead. If I need to add more, I will. And then the recipe also calls for a teaspoon of basil, but I'm only using a quarter teaspoon of the basil. And then it uh, calls for you know salt and pepper. I don't cook with any salt, but I will be using uh, the black pepper, as you can see in the back, my usual suspects. I have my black pepper, uh, my onion powder, my garlic powder. I may use some complete seasoning, may use it, not certain, um, but I will be using this seafood seasoning. You've seen me use this before in my other fish recipes. This is really great. I'll leave the link to everything in the uh, description, but definitely go and check out my previous videos um, if you haven't seen them. And so now let's get to cooking and preparing. So first I'm going to wash off and season this salmon. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, as you can see, I pushed the cutting board to the side and I have my silicone tray. Now, if you've seen me do my uh, Timu haul for my kitchen wear um, video, you will see that I did uh, review these. And so go and check this out. This is the black silicone tray. You just sit it in a cookie sheet. And so I will be uh, utilizing this and I have spritzed it. I didn't have to, but I spritzed it with some, um, some olive oil as well. All right, and so I'm going to just sprinkle some seasoning on the bottom where the actual fish will be sitting. So uh, I don't have to season that side. I'll just make a bed of seasoning, if you will, so that it will uh, be able to cook 
cook on that side, be seasoned on both sides. I like things seasoned on both sides and so it's just extra flavorful for me. And that was the garlic. This is the onion powder. And you see, I'm not really putting a lot. This onion powder is tricky because the holes are kind of large. <laughs> so I'll just put a little uh, sprinkle of that. And then some black pepper on that side, just a little bit, not much. As you see, I'm not using like a whole lot of anything. Um, and so that's that for that side. Now I'm going to place the washed salmon. I've already patted it dry. And I'll just take a paper towel like this and pat it dry. And let me throw that away. And now do the same for this side, just a little bit. This is the black pepper. Then this is the garlic powder, just a little bit, because remember I'm going to be using uh, the seafood seasoning. And I'm going to skip the onion powder, and I'm just going to use the seafood seasoning and just sprinkle a little bit, about that much on, and get it really seasoned, nice and seasoned. This is gonna be really great. I'm actually gonna put just a little bit just a dab, just a little bit more. Just a little bit, you can't hardly even see it. <laughs> but just a little bit more because again, I want it nice and flavorful, to which it's going to be because remember both sides are seasoned. And I always do that, season uh, both sides. Sometimes I will um, you know, actually season it and then flip it over and season it. But you know, just for this sake, uh, just to show you, I just season the bottom where it will be resting. And then I'm actually going to just spritz a little, two, three spritz, spritzes of olive oil on the top, nothing major. And now what I'm going to do is just lift this up and put it in my, on my cookie sheet here. Well, this is actually a pizza pan instead of me using my long cookie sheet. And so I'm just gonna, gonna put that in there like so, and then get that into the oven. At, it's already preheated at 350 degrees. So in the oven it goes. All right, and so while that is doing its thing, let's go ahead and get these cucumbers cut up and get the cucumber salad in. All right, let me make sure I do have you in. Yeah, there we are, you can see everything. So I do have uh, my mixing bowl to which I'm going to mix this up in. I love my uh, mixing bowls and I wish they had it in blue, but you know, I got it in red and then I saw it in blue. So I'll probably, maybe, I'll think about getting more. <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't because I don't really need it. It's just a want, right? So what I will be doing is chopping up the vegetables. Let's go ahead and start with the onion. And again, I love this thing. <laughs> it really keeps everything nice and fresh. I recommend you go ahead and get it. And then also look in the, um, I'll put it in the comment section. I'll pin it so you can get my 30% off code, coupon code for Timu as well. And so, you know, definitely download it, um, download the app because it's just, it just makes things easier if you use the app versus, you know, using an iPad. But if you, you know, want to go to timu.com and you don't want to download the app, use my 30% off code, which I'll put on the screen or somewhere in the, on this screen or definitely in the comments so you can get one. Okay. So let's get this cut up. And... What I am actually going to do, I'm not going to use a, a large piece because again, I'm making such a small amount. But um, what I'm going to be doing is trying out this small knife. I love little gadgets, little small things. And so here again, I did get this another Timu. It's a small knife and I love it. It comes with its own uh, shield to protect it, protect you from cutting yourself. Oops, excuse me for that clang. Hello. <laughs> and so I'm gonna test this out. I really got it actually for the tomato. Oh, this is this is really good. This is really sharp too. I mean, I had my regular, you know, cutting knife, but I said, well, let me try this out for size. You know, on and like I said, I was gonna use it only uh, for the tomatoes. 
but I'm just gonna keep using this for all of my vegetables, including the cucumbers. And like I said, this is really sharp, oh my goodness, because it's cutting into the cutting board really good. So it's cutting all the way down and I'm not even using you know, much force. So, so yeah, this is a, a really good thing and I'm able to dice it. Now, you know, I will say, you know, it does take a little bit more time if I wanted to dice something, not to cut, but if I wanted to dice, because of course, obviously when you're using a bigger blade, you can just chop, chop, chop really, really fast. So, you know, if, if you wanted to just cut into something, you know, this is a good thing. But let's just say you wanted to dice something and you just wanted to be done with it, you know, perhaps you're, you use your, your larger knife because you can actually just do this, you know, really quick and then you're done, you know, like a, a one and done, chop, 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 because it covers a bigger surface uh, area. And so then you're finished. Whereas if you're using a smaller knife, well, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. All right, so I just chopped that up to the size that I wanted. We'll move that aside. Actually, I'll just go ahead and place that in my bowl into my bowl here and you're not going to be able to see it on camera but I'll just put that in my bowl and the rest I'm just going to leave here because I want to use it for something else that I'm going to going to be cooking or preparing it's really not cooking anything and so next up I am going to use the little knife for my tomatoes and I'm just going to slice it in half once and then I'm going to actually quarter them. So slice it again. Oh my goodness, this is so sharp, guys. Don't let the smallness fool you. This is a really good knife. And I believe this is like a 99 cents or a dollar and 29 or something. You know, go check my um, Timu haul. I'm actually cutting them into probably eighths as I'm talking. I'm just dicing. I said I was gonna do it in quarters. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put smaller. I'm just gonna cut it again and again. So I'll have small pieces. All right, so we'll get that done. And then we'll get our cucumbers all nice and chopped up. And I'm gonna leave some of the skins on the cucumbers. So let me go ahead and put the tomatoes in the bowl. And then next up, we'll go ahead and get our cucumbers now, like I said, I'm gonna use uh, leave some of the, the skins on the cucumbers. I'm not going to take all of it off. I've already washed them. I've actually soaked them in uh, some baking soda and washed them off real good, get the surface germs off of it. And I do that for all of my fruits and vegetables, uh, wash them, I soak them, and then I rinse them in you know, water, but I soak them in some baking soda and some water, and that helps to get you know the germs off of it. Because of course, you never know where these things have been. And some people may opt to leave uh, the skins of it on, all of the skins, but I don't. You know, not always. I have. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, right? Who remembers that commercial? Drop that down in the comments. Let's see. Some of you may know and some of you may not. Some of you may be telling your age like me and some people may be like, oh yeah, I don't know that jingle. But, you know, if you're a woman or a man of a certain age, then you know what that is. <laughs> But I think over the years, they haven't changed the commercial. So even if you're younger, you probably uh, know what that is. But um, so that's that. And so let me cut the tops off. I didn't even recognize that I knocked up against the basil. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get rid of these, these, these peels in a second. And I'm gonna show you how I disposed of them because um, it's another fun kitchen tool that I use. So if you guys remember me reviewing uh, this item here on uh, Tamu as one of my Tamu finds, well, this is the garbage uh, holder for the garbage bag. Since I, I take garbage out every night and just dump, I reuse my grocery bags, repurpose my bags. And so if you can remember, this is one of them, my Tamu finds, I'll put the price in. But yeah, so this is where I've been putting my garbage as I've been preparing things and see just put your trash some people have garbage bowls and then they empty it into the trash well I like I don't use garbage bowls you know I used to use the uh, the bags as they're sitting on the counter but I find this is easy and um, I just have it on the drawer as you can see it's just hooked onto the inside of my drawer um, 
and that's that. So this is where I'm putting all of my trash as I use it. So you guys need to get one. This is so convenient. I love these things. Oh my goodness. All right, and so now we're back. So we'll just go ahead and next up, we'll just go ahead and cut our mini cucumbers up and get that into the bowl. And I'm just going to slice them thin instead of thick. One of them escaped, as you can see. I don't un ever understand that. The more I try to cut away from the edge, something still manages to fall on the floor <laughs> and escape. Oh, goodness. So this is what I'm going to do to cut. And again, you see how easy this is, is slicing? Oh, my goodness. This little knife. I'm just so amazed at the knife. This is the first time that I've uh, tried this knife since I uh, did my haul and reviewed it. So I'm just amazed. So forgive me if I continue to say how amazed I am. It is what it is. <laughs> and then I'm going to half these and get them all in halves. And I'm just going to be putting them in the bowl to make more room. Let me speed it up. You guys don't need to sit here and watch me uh, cut all of these in half at regular real-time speed. So I'm going to speed it up. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is adding my 1 8 cup of the extra virgin olive oil, the Tunisian olive oil. So I'm going to drizzle that in. And then I'm going to be adding the 1 8 cup of the apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And next up, I'm going to be adding the quarter teaspoon of the basil. And let me get what's spilled onto the cutting board. Every little bit counts. And so nothing left to do other than put a little bit of additional seasonings. Now, I don't um, generally cook with salt unless I am cooking for like a, a function. Uh, and even then, I will use a little bit. So I'm just going to put uh, some black pepper. A little bit of black pepper in this. And I could use some fresh garlic, but mm, I don't want to use much garlic. Just a hint, just enough to know because I, I love garlic. And that's it. That's all the recipe calls for. So I'm going to take my spoon here. And this again is a Timu item. <laughs> so this is a spatula spoon. So I'm just going to use it and mix everything up in the bowl. Make sure I get everything incorporated well. And it looks like it's enough on the bottom. So, um, you know, I didn't use, purposely didn't use a lot of the EVOO and the apple cider vinegar. And that's, that's, that's enough. Um, so I did good in chopping, well, in cutting the ingredients in half and then some, because remember, I'm only making a little. So, okay, that's well incorporated and well mixed. All of the seasonings, as you can see. Doesn't that look good and colorful? And it smells great as well. And see how easy this is to make, guys? It's not hard. So what I'm gonna do is take yet another Timu kitchen find. I'm telling you, Timu has some great, convenient, nice things for, for, for the cheap, as they say, <laughs> with the wholesale prices. So let me move this out of the way. If you remember, I reviewed these uh, tops here, these silicone tops that you can use on mixing bowls. Well, now I'm using my mixing bowl. You can use it on a plate. Um, you know, to, if you want something to marinate, you want to put it in the, in the refrigerator or freezer. I'm going to use this size. I've already washed it off. And this will be my first time using it. So let's see here. I'm going to start off by putting it here. And let me line up the sides here. And I'm going to hold one side and use the little tabs to stretch it and hold it with my hands. So it's a little awkward because this is my first time I'm using it real time as I'm talking to you guys as I'm doing this. So you see these tabs here? You can hold it and just pull it. And look at that. Hold it, pull it. Let me rotate it. Hold that, pull it. Whoops. Hold it again and stretch it. I didn't stretch it enough. And then you have this one last side and there's nothing to it but to do the same thing. Hold and pull it. And it should line up perfectly with the uh, sides of it. As you can see, 
I, again, it's my first time doing it, so I wasn't too perfect with it, but it's on there. And if I wanted to adjust it, I certainly can, see? And I'll loosen it there and maybe pull it tighter here, um, or I could just leave it like that. And look at that. Let me show it to you from this side. As you can see, it's a perfect seal. See that? And I could even stretch it some more if I want. This is silicone, so it stretches really good. And so, I mean, if I turn it upside down, it's not coming out. I can even shake it and see the, the solution, not the solution, but the fluid, the EVOO and the apple cider vinegar, it did not spill out on the board. And it did not spill out from here. See, I'm holding it this way. So I'm gonna sit this in the refrigerator and let it marinate uh, for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. If you could let it marinate for longer than that, you know, it would be great. But I'm gonna let it marinate for 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna check on the salmon. All right, let's get this salmon out of the oven. Look at that. Hear the sizzle, see the sizzle. I actually put it on broil just for mm, just a few, two, three minutes because I wanted it to get a little bit more brown. If you want it more brown, you definitely can put it uh, in the under the broiler for a little more, but this was good enough for me. Get our plate ready. And I'm actually going to get my silicone mittens here that I did get on Amazon. You've, you've seen these just about everywhere, but I'll put the link in the bio for, for Amazon. They may even have them on Tamu. And I'm going to hold it to lift out the salmon and this is really really good so what I'm gonna do so that you can see is switch places here there we are and then I'll put my plate here just so you can see a little bit better and I've and I took the cucumber uh, salad that I had chilling in the refrigerator out. So it's nice and chilled. And I'm actually going to remove the salmon and place it on a plate here. And this is gonna be easy peasy cleanup. See that? Looks really good bring some of that uh, olive oil off of it. Olive oil and apple cider vinegar. And that's all I'm gonna have because more than likely I probably won't eat all of this because I'm gonna have to eat half of the, um, I'll be eating half of the salmon anyway. What we'll do is put a little parsley on it just for color, just for show, because this is a cooking show, just a little bit of garnish. And there you have it, guys, look at that. Baked salmon, cucumber salad, using cucumbers, red cherry tomatoes, yellow cherry tomatoes, red onions, basil, and salt and pepper to taste and a touch of garlic powder, apple cider vinegar with the mother, and olive oil. Look at that. Healthy. And here's my VSG portion. I wanted you guys to see how much of it equals four ounces. I opted for a smaller portion of the salmon because I wanted more of the salad. So I don't have quite two ounces. I have 1.7 ounces of salmon. And then the remaining balance I have in the salad. All right, so it's time for me to have dinner. Let's see if I can finish it all. So that's it guys, try this recipe, you'll love it. Especially those of you who are bariatric patients or preparing to be a bariatric patient or 
anyone who wants to just cut down and eat healthy. You don't have to be a bariatric patient to eat this way. Okay? All right. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, guys. Just wanted to come back and show you that I was not able to eat the full four ounces of food that you saw me weigh out. Um, this is what's left of it. So the remaining salmon and cucumber salad will be lunch tomorrow uh, of course i'll add some more to it and i just wanted to show you and see my timu plate this is another plate from timu and i did review that i think this was 79 cents and see i eat off of the small plates i know this looks like a large plate but it's actually small see when i pull back you can see how small it actually is but yeah this is one of my timu plates my 79 cent timu plates so just wanted to show you what I was able to eat of the full four ounces. But hey, this is the VSG life. I'm a VSG babe and this is the new normal for me. And I'm fine with that because I feel like I ate a plate full of food. <laughs> so I'm okay with it. It's not like I'm hungry, right? So hey, I'm doing my body good. So the rest of this will be lunch tomorrow with the other piece of salmon and some more of the cucumber salad. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.